616 on this Tuesday morning. Cold front is pressing towards the area out ahead of it. We've been seeing some scattered showers. You can see temperatures dropping just to our north and west. Huntsville's down to 64. Conroe's at about 65. Why? We're in the lower 70s across all of southeast Texas from 70 in Jasper, Beaumont and Port Arthur to 71 in Kirbyville and Orange. Woodville's at 72 and Silsby currently showing a temperature of about 73. Let's take you over to Orange at the Horseman's Western Store as we look down on I-10 on our Roofie 911 Live Skycam Network. Currently showing 69 in Orange, humidity at 95 percent. Winds out of the southwest at 5 and not quite a quarter of an inch of rain, 0.22 in the rain bucket over there. As we look at radar, the rain, which was looking pretty healthy to our west as it moved into southeast Texas, it's really died down. There's not much left of it. Just a couple of scattered showers here and there. Uh, you can see some heavier rains through parts of central Louisiana back down towards uh, Kakashu Parish there. But uh, probably the heaviest stuff right now we have in the area is this thunderstorm right along 69, right through the Comanel area. That's where we're seeing some of the heavier rains. Doesn't even quite make it down to Woodville, even though there is some spotty rain around Woodville. But the, this thunderstorm, a lot of lightning there. No severe weather, but a lot of lightning, some heavy rainfall there. So if you're heading up, uh, from Woodville, maybe head northward, you're going to be running into some very heavy rain. I'd wait maybe 30 minutes or so, let this thing slide a little bit farther to the east before you try to make that drive a little, be a little bit better. And then as we drop down around the triangle, pretty quiet. Not much going on through Port Arthur, Orange, or Beaumont. Uh, there is a little bit of a heavy downpour just off towards the west of Lumberton, but that area of rain has been dying down pretty quickly. And like I said, we've been uh, watching uh, these showers, and there was a lot out there, but now there's not much. So it looks like up 326 between Coons and Sour Lake. That's where some of that rain is. And then a little bit of a shower maybe in the north end of Lumberton there. But uh, look at the rain. It was really looking pretty healthy. And then as it comes in, it really just kind of falls apart. So uh, we're expecting about a 40% coverage of some scattered rain this morning. That's probably going to drop off to maybe... 20% uh, as we really don't see much. Now the front doesn't gonna actually come through until around lunchtime or so. So we could still see some isolated showers out ahead of the front, but for the most part, uh, once this initial line kind of goes through, we won't see much through the afternoon. The front's gonna bring some drier, cooler air in, and uh, we'll see some of those cooler temperatures coming in, especially Thursday into Friday. But out ahead of the front, that's where all the activity is, especially north, uh, some strong thunderstorms through uh, northern uh, Mississippi, southern Arkansas with a tornado watch up there. Our forecast today calling for maybe a few isolated showers through the morning, the rest of the morning. Temperatures into the middle 70s for today as things clear out for the afternoon. Tonight we drop off pretty quickly into the 50s uh, by late in the evening and then we stay close to the 50 degree mark as we head towards tomorrow morning. I think we'll see a mix of some upper 40s and lower 50s. So here's the way our forecast looks. Some morning rain, but now the maybe some isolated showers or we should call it more than the rain warm and mainly dry out there for this afternoon temperatures should be into the middle 70s tonight like i said we dropped around 50 some 40s north some lower 50s here in the triangle as it turns cooler tomorrow's high about 70 lots of sunshine more sunshine for thursday into friday that's where we really start to see some of that cooler air 40s for lows thursday and friday morning some chilly starts there afternoon highs in the middle 60s and then your weekend, we start to bring rain back. Just a 20% chance on Saturday, so I wouldn't cancel any outdoor plans. Sunday's a little bit different story as the front moves through. About a 40% chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms for that. And a few showers linger into Monday as well. Back into the 60s for highs for Sunday and Monday.